Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Technics Media. Today we are going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy F2s and we are going to talk about some of the tips and tricks, some of the things which normally people don't notice on Samsung Galaxy F2s. As this phone is a mid-range Android smartphone from Samsung. It comes at a price of around 16 to 17 thousand Indian rupees here in India. And if we talk about the features, this this particular phone has the Nature UX UI, which is uh, the UI inherited from the latest high-end smartphone from Samsung, which is S3 and Note 2. So the overall UI and the Android customization is which is there on this device is pretty much similar, which you see on high-end devices like Note 2 and S3. So we will actually explore the overall UI. We will show you some of the options which are there on the phone. So for the start. First of all, the first thing which we want to tell you is the lock screen. On the lock screen, you have these four icons. You can actually launch these applications just by tapping on them and then dragging on the screen. So once you tap on any application icon and then you drag it on the screen, the phone will be unlocked and that application will be automatically launched. So this is quite handy feature when you think about if you want to do a quick calling. Unlock the device. If we go to the notification center here, here we have all the toggles uh, to toggle off the mobile data on and off to toggle the Bluetooth uh, on the phone. You can always, apart from this, you have the option over here with which you can easily control the brightness. So wherever you are on the phone, you just need to slide down the notification center and then you can control the overall brightness on the phone. Uh, from here you can easily control them however there is no option for con uh, for the auto brightness thing so this phone doesn't have a proximity sensor I think so uh, it doesn't give you that feature of doing the auto brightness as per the environment where you are actually apart from this if we go into settings and if we show you some other options uh, which are there on the phone uh, the one thing which we actually noticed in the sound is that you can actually create a vibration pattern here we have the vibration pattern which is which are over here uh, just like s3 and note 2 you can create a custom vibration pattern on this device you just need to tap and this is how you can actually create a custom vibration pattern uh, which will be there uh, when whenever your phone is going to ring so you can create a custom vibration pattern and then save it you can assign that particular pattern a name and apart from this, if we take a look over the key tones, in order to save the battery, I would recommend you to disable these key tones, which is there. When you press the keypad, you hear a tone. So you can actually disable that by tapping over here. You can disable the touch sounds whenever you unlock the screen. There is a little bit a uh, small sound which comes. When you unlock the screen, you can disable that. And then you can disable the screen lock sound as well. Just like when I lock the phone, it makes a sound. And if I actually don't want to hear that sound, if I want to save the battery, I can actually tap, tap this option and then I can uh, disable that sound. Apart from that, if we go into the display part of it, if we go into display settings, here we have different options. One is the brightness, then the screen timeout. You can control the screen timeout over here. You can set the device to auto rotate or whatever it is. And then you can also control the key backlit duration, the, seats, the soft keys over here. Uh, the backlit duration is around 1.5 seconds. You can control that. Apart from this, uh, one thing which we noticed is the battery percentage. Normally, you see a battery over here, which which gives you an idea how much battery is actually left. If you want to have a precise idea, you can actually enable the battery percentage, which is under display. And once you enable it, you will see a percentage figure over here, which will be quite precise and easy for you to actually get an idea about how much battery is actually left in the device when you are using F2Os. Apart from this, if we go under the wallpaper, you do have the support for setting the home screen, lock screen, and home screen, lock screen, both the, both the wallpaper at the same time for both, both of these things. And you can actually select uh, in between different wallpapers from the gallery, from the default wallpapers on this device, and you do have the support for live wallpapers as well on this device. So you can set a live wallpaper from here and this is how the live wallpaper will look like you can actually install more live wallpapers from the android marketplace 
if you want to kill any application uh, on this device it, this device doesn't come with the task manager so uh, you can actually press the home button and keep it pressed and then you will see all the applications over here and you can easily kill them from here in case you don't want to do this one by one for all, all the application you can actually tap over here on remove all to actually kill the app all the applications at once so this is how you can actually kill all the application in a single click apart from this if we go into the video player section under the video play section whenever we are going to play a video let me just show you this feature so let us suppose that we are in this we are playing this video right now and if you want to see the video in full screen you can tap over here and then this is how you can actually see the video in full screen without any black lines above or button or on the and left or right side if you actually want to see the screen without you know, any kind of issues uh, whenever you are actually going to see the video sometimes you accidentally tap on these four keys and the video is actually paused or it is disturbed you see to click the lock key over here and it will display a lock symbol and after that whatever you do on the screen or if you press these buttons nothing will happen the video will keep on playing this this is quite handy option whenever you are watching youtube videos or you are watching any video which you have created on this device and uh, tapping uh, clicking this button again it will unlock the screen for you so you will be able to control the video player from the we go into the language that. and input settings on the settings and that is the keyboard setting basically and if we go to the samsung keyboard setting just like you see the option of all the different new features which are there on samsung galaxy note 2 and s3 you see those app options over here as well you do have the option to do the continuous input on this device you just need to tap over here and you need to basically first of all enable predictive test and then you can enable the continuous input another thing is the keyboard swipe feature with which you can actually change the layout of the keyboard by swiping from the left side to the right side or right side to the left side let me just show you that. typing on any application not only google search basically and i want to change the layout of the keyboard to numbers i can easily swipe like this and the layout will be changed to numbers i can easily swipe like this again to have the qwerty keyboard which we see on the uh, normal Android phone whenever we start typing. Apart from this, if we want to actually change the layout of the keyboard completely, we can go over here under settings and then we can have a three into four kind of a layout which you see on feature phones. And now we have the normal feature phone kind of a keyboard over here on this device. So you can have this kind of a keyboard as well if you are used to it. You can change it from the settings apart from this you do have the option to enable the handwriting thing so if once you enable this thing you can have the voice input for the keyboard so you can actually use your voice to type and you can have this feature of auto capitalization in which it will capitalize the first letter of a sentence that will help you to do that that will basically help you to save time and it will also